so I guess that's the end of that. Um, E3 is... E3 2020, it's not happening. I'm sure most of you have already heard about this at this point. However, if you haven't, essentially, because of the whole coronavirus, COVID-19, all that, because of how infectious that disease and virus is, many different festivals, many different events have been canceled across the globe. And E3 is just another one that doesn't really surprise many people to be canceled. I mean, E3 itself is a huge event. And although I didn't really expect it, at the same time, it kind of makes sense when you think about it. it Once you see how many other events have also been closed when it comes to the ceremony. Which, by the way, I can't actually say on this channel. But today, I wanted to talk about a different topic. And that is that this may be E3's last chance. Or maybe that was... Maybe 2019 was E3's last chance. The idea of E3, like the idea of... A whole bunch of companies coming together and having like this huge event but just the idea of a separate event that people have to go out to is again it's fading away because of how popular online services like Nint nintendo directs and now sony's doing the same thing how popular that has become and it's so much cheaper to do that but that's only one of many many different points as to why when you really think about it, hosting E3 at this point doesn't really make sense, or at least attending E3 as a, a big company. So that's what I want to talk about today, but before I get into that gamer discussion, just so you know, if you do like my content, less than 1% of you who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so I would highly appreciate it if you would do that thing. If you didn't like the video, then you have full permission to not, but I mean, at least hear me out. If you don't like my opinion, just hear me out. But anyway, without delaying it any further, let's talk about E3. So when I was younger, I would always love coming home and watching E3. Like, whenever I had the chance, I thought it was just, it was so exciting just seeing companies come out on stage. And I love events like that. It's not just E3 that gave me that special sort of feeling of watching, oh, here's some the latest news about this product you enjoy. There's so many other events that do the same thing for different types of products. But... E3 in particular really stood out to me when I was younger just because of how how much I loved my 360. But I'm sure it doesn't surprise you because most people feel that way anyway about E3. The problem with E3 is not that itself. It's not that people are so excited and that companies just want to shut it down because they don't want money or something like that. E3's problem is a completely separate problem from the consumer. E3's issue is that it's becoming more and more like Blockbuster. Similar to how GameStop is struggling right now, E3 is in a similar state. So if you don't know, Blockbuster originally was a company that would allow you to rent rent DVDs, rent different movies, rent TV shows, things like that, even rent games towards the end. And it was essentially just a physical version of Netflix, and it was super popular. But as you can imagine, Netflix comes around, completely takes over that business. People found it way more convenient to just rent movies from home. And suddenly, the industry completely changes, Blockbuster is unable to adapt because of their business model, and as a result, you don't see any more Blockbusters, do you? Okay, so then let's take a look at GameStop. So GameStop's issue, at least right now, I mean, they have Reggie on board now, so who, who knows what'll happen with that. But their current issue is that they used to be, even just like five or ten years ago, they used to be the dominant, the dominant company when it came to buying your your physical games or not just physical games just buying any game or gaming consoles things like that if you if you were into games you would just kind of go to gamestop or ev games whatever it was just kind of what you did but as a result of things like steam the xbox marketplace the playstation store the nintendo eShop, i could just go on and on people don't really shop nearly as much as gamestop expects as much and as a result they're losing a shit ton of money because they have so many stores, so many employees that they just can't sustain themselves anymore. And it's very likely that within the next decade, GameStop won't be around. Like, not won't be around as much, but literally won't be around. Similar to how Blockbuster was. And it's very hard to avoid this unless you completely follow the trend and completely change your business model. But with something like GameStop and something like Blockbuster, it was very hard for them to change their business model. Blockbuster, you could have argued that they could have gotten into Netflix's scene, but GameStop, well... But then let's take a look at E3. Now, E3 is different from all these because it's not exactly a store. It's not something that you can just replace, as you could argue. However, I would argue against that because the same ideology applies is that the internet has become better. Services like YouTube are now available, Twitch, where 
companies can for cheaper now they can stream their games directly to the audience through things like a youtube video or a twitch live stream etc etc and you could argue that they used to do that in e3 that's how most people or basically everyone watched e3 but the thing is that for companies it was so much cheaper just to do the same thing but just to hold their own event i.e what nintendo did with their directs and it saved them a lot of money gave them more control over the over the show floor and when nintendo first did that a lot of people criticized them wondering why they would leave e3 however now we look back at it nintendo was right as sad as it may seem nintendo was right to do that and now microsoft has to do an event as they said they are going to do online because e3 is not happening this year so let's go back to modern times so nowadays e3 has been having some issues with dwindling attendees less and less big companies have been showing up i remember when sony first didn't show up a couple of years ago and people were shocked but nowadays it's not really too surprising when someone's like, oh, wait, why would we even attend E3? Of course we're not going. Nintendo just has the title of their direct event as E3 2020 or E3 whatever the year is. So that doesn't surprise many. But but the second issue with E3 is that it's been having some issues recently with, um, let's just say, controversies, I guess, would work. Essentially, what happened was, I'm pretty sure it was a couple years ago when the big thing that happened was that a whole bunch of attendees if not everyone from what i remember had was basically doxxed by e3 an accidental leak came out doxing a lot of people's personal information so why would you go back to that after that if you're a company that does not look good for your employees if you are someone who just attended e3 you know paying a lot of money to go there why would you do that again and risk getting doxxed onto the internet second thing this year as we know of, E3 is now cancelled, as we just found out today, because of the coronavirus. So why would you travel, especially right now, why would you travel, because of a disease spreading? Why would you go to an event that could just be streamed online? So, what is the future of E3? Well, to be totally honest, E3's future is grim, unless they can find a way to move online. I think that's the, I think that's the general consensus that people have, is that there's not really much of a reason to attend E3 anymore. Just because physical events like that, that aren't just company trade shows where actual people who are really enthusiasts come, something that's just meant to build hype can just be made in just a short presentation with the the way that the <laughs> with the way that the industry is today. Some may argue against it, but honestly, E3 doesn't really have that much of a reason to be around today. It's fun. It's a, it's a cool idea, you know, hang around with friends, order in, and just kind of chill. Watch E3 with friends. It sounds fun, and it I'm sure it is fun. But the thing is that nowadays, it doesn't really make sense to have a physical event being streamed out. Why not just hold your own online event and save yourself the hassle, save money on your end, people get the same experience, your sales don't dip. There's really no benefit of going to E3 anymore. But anyway, that's just my opinion. If you have a different opinion and would like to debate me in the comments, feel free to go ahead. I hope you enjoy, and as always, uh, Sanders for President.